Numan Royal Chapel hosts grand welcome service for His Royal Majesty. The Royal Chapel recently welcomed His Royal Majesty back home in style, dispelling rumors of his demise. Recall that His Royal Majesty Hamon Daniel Shaga Ismaila, PhD, CON, Bawanome Gilongodia, the Hamabachama, had gone on vacation after about four years since he assumed the throne of his forefathers. It was during this time that rumors filtered the air that he was demised. It was later discovered that it is the handiwork of mischief makers. The king had since returned to the palace after a long time of rest. Hence the chapel decided to host him to give him a grand welcome. Dignitaries including district head of Gawana, Chief Dr. Agosobame Yi, Chief Pavidon Jaule, and Khan Chairman joined clergy and well-wishers for the joyous occasion. Apostle Salvation Sule of the Kingdom Exploits Ministry International gave a powerful charge at the gathering. You know, there is a day that never came. That was the day the Jews would have been slaughtered. But God made it that that day never came. May the evil day your enemies intend for you never come. I thought that amen would be loud. I want you to know before the trouble arrives, God has arrived there already. And I speak to somebody here. Don't be discouraged. Don't be weighed down by the happening of events in your life. I want you to begin to see God in the picture. You know, <laughs> the Bible told us about the woman who was called Naomi, who lost her husband, lost her children, returned back to the land. And she said, Don't call me Naomi, just call me Mara. And I have returned empty. But Naomi forgot that she could have been buried in that land as well. If it has not been the Lord who was on our side. The Bible said it is by the message of the Lord that we are not consumed. Can I say something here? If you are sat in the office, you are still alive, you can get another job. So be grateful to God. Nothing is working, life is working. It takes a man who is alive to have a job. It takes a man who is alive to buy a car. It takes a man who is alive to wear good clothes. For the fact that God has left you alive, it is enough reason to give you praise. So I want you to know, if it has not been the Lord who was on your side, the story could have been different. The event featured heartfelt goodwill messages, inspiring performances, and powerful charges. There were responses from the chaplain and other ministers who bear their minds on the matter. I would like to start saying that you don't celebrate the dead, you only celebrate the living. There's a Jewish proverb that says, truth is heavy, that is why few people carry it. Our king carries the truth, and only few people that carry this truth. He's one of the few people. You can see the sign of people that desire the truth. This meeting is limited. If you say we make it more open, oh my God, it will have been out of this world. I would like you to know that we love our king. I would, li I would like you to know that the people of Oara love their king. Nothing less and nothing more. And we can never be among the group that will celebrate the dead. We can only celebrate the living. It's beautiful. Today we are celebrating a welcoming service for the king at the Royal Chapel of Peace. As you know, the king went on vacation for one month and the rumors was all over the town that the king have slept. Uh, in a literal term, the king have died. But it was not true. The king returned last three to four days. We received him at the Yola International Airport. And today we feel that as a church, as a chapel, the king has established in his palace to pray for our kingdom and our people. We feel it's good for us to have his welcoming service. And you see people all over the denominations, pastors, bishops from everywhere are here. The, the, the chapel is crowded. People stood outside just to honor the coming of the king. And I want to assure you that this vacation will be every year. The king must go out, have a race. Since he was ruling us for the past four years of his enthronement, he has never gone on vacation. So we are so happy to welcome him back from his vacation.
His Royal Majesty addressed the gathering, sharing words of appreciation and encouragement, reaffirming his commitment to the land. These things are happening everywhere. And when you have a lot of idle people around, um, unemployable and unemployed people around, a lot of people who are sitting and, and wasting their time all over the place, the most important things they do are carrying rumors. Feet that quickly run to mischief according to the word of God. So they, they, as long as we allow the numbers of these idle people to increase, these rumors will continue. And uh, for your information, some people will be around who are funding these rumors. So I'm hoping that if the rumors work, uh, they will take over the stool of the Nama I'm not uh, crazy about the stool of the Nama These things they are doing will not stop God from doing what he wants to do. It will not stop God. The, the Bible says, like I said in, in Proverbs chapter 22, verse uh, 26, verse 2, it said, the cost that is without cost shall not alight. If you cause somebody who has done nothing to you, the cost will not alight. It will not happen. It's just a waste of time. What has happened is like a cost for the land. People that are, they are, they don't, don't, don't know the facts, they don't verify, don't do anything. They are running from house to house and telling people that this is what has happened. And nobody has called to find out. So I really sympathize with the people here. I sympathize with all the people that are involved in this rumor carrying, those people who believe that by carrying rumor things will happen. And I am praying for them. I will not fight the people here because every morning I wake up, I put my knees on the ground and I pray for this land and everybody that is in this land and for this uh, nation. Is it the same people that I'm praying for that I will not sit down and, be, and trust them because anything will happen like that? Nothing. This is the way of, it has become like a way of life. Not only in Bajamachita, in all communities where the ethnic nationalities are present. Ethnics are like that. The only thing they live for is room and bad news. They, they are happy to have bad news and all this. Thing. But I'm here. I'm fit. I didn't even go to hospital. I didn't press anybody to say I'm going to hospital. Nobody. I didn't ask any for money. I, I said, give me my leave. Let me rest. I'm, 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 I'm fatigued. And I rested. For 30 days, I was inside just. I didn't travel to anywhere. My, my, my wife, my children, my grandchildren, they all there with the same day. So it is, this, type, this type of things will happen. And when it happens, it will jolt the community. The people who are asleep in the community, they wake up. Those who are not praying will begin to pray. Those who are not listening to things before, they will begin to listen now. Things will change. Anything that God permits to happen, God has a purpose for it. So even this rumor carrying and all the story of death and all this thing, God has a purpose for it. And I believe that the purpose of God will be served, not the purpose of man. So there is really nothing to worry about. Thank you. So the land, like I said, for the land, we need to come together. Not only Batima land, but the Federation. Norman Federation must come together. Because Norman Federation is a target of so many things that many people do not know. Many people do not know what is coming upon them. And unless we come together, unless we unite, unite in, in spirit, unite in the fiscal, unite in prayer, so that God can protect us. That's my, my call for this land. And for Batima land, I also pray for them. Let the people that are here who are holding positions and responsible positions all over the place, let them begin to consider how they can assist people that are idle here. You know, I remember in the past there was craft school here, there was technical school, there were many things. But let me tell you, that is more than 50 years ago. Today you cannot find a single electrician or plumber that is indigenous to this place as a product of that place. And the schools have been closed. They have become ordinary schools. So these are some of the challenges that we must address. We must be program and progress oriented. If we, if we are oriented in only helping our families, what they do in running politics and doing other things, we will not get anywhere. And the things we are afraid of will come upon us when we don't expect it. I pray that this land will experience peace, just like I did on the 27th of September in 2020 in the church. I pray that the peace that Nigeria is looking for will even come from this land. I said it and I'm still standing on it. This land will be the beacon of peace for Nigeria and it will happen by the grace of God. The Royal Chapel's welcome service was a testament to unity and gratitude. We are honored to share this uplifting story. Thanks for staying with us. We request that you kindly follow us on Facebook and Twitter, now X.
Also subscribe to our YouTube channel, all at Eagle Lenses TV. Caleb Zadok reporting for Eagle Lenses TV.